Okay, so I'm going to work on a few more problems that are, I'd say, a little more difficult than the ones we were doing before. Root 10 times 3 root 6 times 4 root 7 times root 8. Okay, so basically this is going to be equal to this root 10 and 3 times 4 is going to be 12 and I have root 6 times root 7 times root 8 well let's do this why don't we do small parts at a time root 6 and root 7 that would be root 42 times root 8 okay so next line would be radical 10 times a quantity 12 times, now check this out. This 42, root 42, we can write that like this. So this is what this is going to be. Root 42 can be written as root 21 times root 2, right? That would be 42. And the root 8 can be written like this times root 4 times root 2 okay and that makes sense because 4 times 2 is 8 okay so let's go ahead and start working this out so we have rad 10 times a quantity 12 times now let's see we got rad 2 and rad 2 so two of these will cancel out and just become a 2 right I hope you see that Radical 2 times radical 2 basically is radical 4. Radical 4 is just a 2. So we'll go ahead and put a 2 down. And this rad 4 here, well, that's just 2. So we'll cross that out and then write another 2. And what's left here, since we already brought the 12 down, cross that out, we have the rad 21. So we'll go ahead and write this in rad 21. And this has two prime factors of 7 and 3. So it's not going to break down, okay? So let's go to the next line. Rad 10 times the quantity 12 times, well, let's see, we got 4, so that would be 4 radical 21. And this can be simplified to just 48, right? So we'll end up having 48, and the radicals will multiply together. Now, this one has prime factors of 2 and 5, right? So if these are 2 and 5, well, they're completely prime, right? So there's really not much you can do. So your final answer basically is going to look um, is going to look like this. 48 times radical, and just multiply the 21 times the 10, you get rad 210. Okay? And let's try another example here. How about 5 rad 13 radical 2 times 5 rad 7 times 3 rad 6. And actually, this is all in brackets. 5 times the quantity, well, let's see, we got 13 rad 2 right here, so leave that alone. We have a set of parentheses, so 5 and 3 is going to be 15, and 7 times 6 is going to be 42. Okay, so what we can do now is we can multiply the 13 times the 15, so we'll write our 5 here, and the 13 times the 15, you'll get 195 and the 2 times the 42 is going to be rad 84 uh, 5 times 195 is going to give you 975 if you need to you can go ahead and just you know pause this and use your calculator and try to do the problem so like when I started off here you should try to work it out first and then you know watch how I do it so that way you get the right answer and you can use the check your answer. So you have 
975 times 84, then 84 can be written like this. Um, it can be radical 4 times radical 21, which equals 975 times 2, because this turns into a 2, times rad 21. And if you multiply 975 times 2, you're going to get 1950. And 21 doesn't break down, so it's just going to be rad 21. So therefore, this would be your answer. Okay, and let's clear the screen again. Okay, so we have 2 root 8 times the quantity root 2 times the quantity 3 root 2 times root 8. Okay, so what I want to do is work with what's in the parentheses first. So I'm going to write down what I have here. 2 root 8 times the quantity root 2. Now, 3 root 2 times root 8, I can multiply the 2 and the 8 here in the radical. So I'll write 3 root 16. Well, root 16 really is 4. So that's going to be 3 times 4, which will be 12, times the root 2, which will give me 12 root 2. So I'll write down my 2 root 8 times, now I'll write down 12 root 2. Okay, so now what I want to do is multiply the coefficients. And that will be 2 times 12, which is 24. And now what's in the radical is 8 times 2, which is 16. So the square root of 16 is 4. So that's going to be 24 times 4, which will give me an answer of 96. All right, let's clear the screen again. So let's say we have 2 times the quantity 5 root 2 times 3 root 8. Okay, so basically this will be equal to this. 2 times the quantity. 5 times 3 is going to be 15. And root 2 times root 8 is going to be root 16. So that's going to be equal to 2 times 15 times 4. And this is going to be equal to 2 times 60. And that's going to be equal to 120. And how about this last problem here? How about 3 root 3 times the quantity 6 root 5 times 9 root 15? Okay, so this will be equal to, let me move this up a little bit. So basically, I'll just copy this down again. 3 root 3 times, well, 6 times 9 is going to be 54. And root 5 times root 15 is going to be root 75. So this is going to be equal to 3 root 3 times 54. And uh, the biggest perfect square in 75 is going to be 25. And that's going to be times root 3. So this would be 3 root 3 times 54 times 5 times root 3. And this would be equal to 3 root 3 times 270 root 3. And now the last step would be multiplying 3 times the 270. And I'll get 810. And root 3 times root 3 is going to be root 9. So this is going to be 810 times 3. And my final answer is going to be, you can use a calculator for this, 2430. Oh, I would strongly suggest using a calculator for this. I mean, some of the numbers are kind of big. But anyway, this kind of gives you the idea. And I hope you learned something here. Uh, watch the other videos. I'll be using variables in there because this is just working with numbers only. Okay, thanks for watching.